Not only these events are easy here at UTA. You have to do them one by one, all together. And eventually, that's how you're out. I'm here with the Rangers captain here at the March of Dimes. How are you doing today? Pretty good. The Japanese Culture Society try to show a lot of differences from typical American style restaurants. As seen here, they have maids and butlers, and they all have different personalities, such as Sharknado and even Yaoi. Okay. Here at the Ransom Hall, Mavic Transfer Connection I'll only offer test ticket materials for finals, but also coffee and cookies. Thank you, sir. Here at Cafe Mumbu, they also provide entertainment, food, and drinks on top of their great hospitality. Pass them out to the kids and to the adults. <laughs> James Belknap, back to you. Not only do they provide resources for potential victims, but they also provide games such as bingo to win a t-shirt and a resiliency test to see how well you are distressed, which I do pretty good. NASCAR is back in Texas and it's a big celebration as this is the last race for Jeff Gordon at Texas Motor Speedway. With the attention on heavy rainfall prior to the weekend, press conferences, and even a pair of Shetland ponies gifted to Gordon, Texas really hasn't given a proper gesture to their local boy, Chris Buescher. Buescher's from Prosper, Texas, part of Roush Fenway Racing, the driver of the number 60 Avocare Ford Mustang. He is leading all Xfinity drivers in the points race to the championship. He likes driving back in his home area. It's always nice to, to come home up to Texas and, and see a bunch of family and friends. So we we'll have a bunch of people here hanging out and, and watching the weekend. So. A little bit added pressure, but nothing nothing we can't handle. Buescher leads by 24 points over Chase Elliott when the race started, started the race in 12th after qualifying, and ended up 11th behind race winner Brad Keselowski. How do you like TMS over the other motor speedways? Texas is a unique racetrack. The surface is a little bit more wore out. It's a little rougher than a lot of places we go, which makes for, makes for some good race. We're able to move around and you know, use a, a lot of different grooves on the racetrack. Kozlowski also won the pole for the AAA Texas 500, where he led 312 of the 334 laps, until Jimmy Johnson passed Kozlowski with six laps to go to win his fourth straight AAA Texas 500, and Gordon finished ninth. If Boucher continues on his run to the Xfinity Series Championship, he will make a run for their money in the Sprint Cup Series, Chase of the Cup, in years to come. James Belknap, UTA News. During the long semester, UTA students get overburdened by the amount of stress from their schoolwork. So that's why the UTA library sponsors created Tail Wagon Wednesdays. The therapeutic dogs are provided by pet partners who not only go to universities for stress relief, but also hospitals and the elderly. It even motivated one of their sponsors, adopted their own dog, who is now part of the program. And I knew that that's what I wanted to do when I retired. And so I went looking for a dog that would fit this kind of a, a situation. And that's when I found Winston. Every dog is adopted. And with their sponsors, they have to go through classes, training, and certification before they can become pet therapists. This is a very popular program by the UTA libraries, not only for students, but for faculty and staff. But why? get to volunteer to do things on campus and so since I love dogs and I mean it's nice to do something that I, that I like to do and be with the dogs. And but the dogs are living a life of luxury. They're getting petted for one to two hours at a time. So who really is benefiting, the dogs or the people? Oh, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I think it's equivalent. <laughs> well, it's, it's mutual. Dogs like coming to this event. One of the owners says that this is her dog's favorite event, which he seems to enjoy this the most and actually knows where he's going when they turn into the parking lot. Tail Wagon Wednesdays only happen once a month at UTA. So how often should we have Tail Wagon Wednesdays? Every Wednesday. <laughs> Every day. Every day? <laughs> James Belknap, UTA News. Here in Ransom Hall, they try to help the students throughout the year. And near the end of the semester, it's all about finals week. So they try to help them de-stress with the Maverick Transfer Connection. This is the first year of its event, but for transfer students. It focuses on education for resources for the transfer student and also gives them testing materials to be prepared for finals. This event was created because we know how stressful uh, in the semester is. We have finals coming up, papers are due, and we just wanted to get an opportunity for students to come in, relax a little bit, enjoy some coffee, enjoy some jazz, and uh, have a little bit of fun so they can de-stress a little bit before finals. Okay. 
Here at the Ransom Hall, Mavic Transfer Connection not only offer test ticket materials for finals, but also coffee and cookies. And probably one of the coolest things we do is we offer e-tutoring for uh, tr new transfer students. This is a free service for transfer students where they can get help online with a variety of subjects like accounting, Spanish, uh, history, even paper help. The Maverick Transfer Connection allows a lot of resources for the transfer students and if they have a problem they can access their transition leaders whether it's on Facebook, the Blackboard IM, or even the library. James Belknap, UTA News.